Hello students, welcome to Statics. I'm Dr. Stewart and today we're gonna to do an example on position vectors. And this example is an example coming from chapter 2.7 to 2.9 from the book. In this example, a man pulls a cord with a force of 70 pounds. We're asked to find the force acting on support A as a Cartesian vector and determine the direction angles, that is the alpha, uh, beta, gamma angles of that vector. Now, we've read this problem. We need to find a force vector and its direction angles. Let's go look at the diagram and see if we can get a little bit more information. In our diagram, we see we have a 3D problem. We see that there is a man at point B, and he's pulling on a cord that is connected at point A. And we need to find the force acting on support A. So we need to find the force that is coming out of, uh, of, of point A and directed towards B. We'll call this force AB, or force A, right, from A towards B. We need to find this force vector, and we also need to find the angles alpha, beta, and gamma for that vector. Now, in examining this problem, there's a couple of things that we know. We know the position of A, and we know the position of B. We know these two positions. If we look at the diagram, we're given the dimensions for where those points are located, right? And from our A and our B, we can find the position vector R A B, the vector directed from A towards B. And from that vector, we may also find, I don't know, my pen is acting up today. From that vector, we may also find the unit direction. So the actual direction of RAB, where the, the unit direction vector is equal to the vector divided by its magnitude. With that direction, since that direction is the same direction as our force vector, we'll be able to find our force vector R A B is equal to the magnitude of the force vector times the unit direction U A B. So for this problem, our knowns are the positions R A and R B, and we're also, of course, we're given F A B. The magnitude is, is 70 pounds. And we have a series of calculations that we need to make in order to find our force vector. The, the, the main unknown here is the force vector, RAB, but also our Cartesian angles, alpha, uh, beta, and gamma, which are gonna come out of that unidirection vector as well. So we kinda got this figured out. Let's go through the process of solving this problem. Uh, let's take this problem and simplify it by creating a free body diagram. It's an X, Y, Z coordinate system. We're gonna just draw that unknown vector, F, A, B. And then we're gonna go ahead and put on our dimensions where A is and where B is. The next step is to write out R, A, and R, B, those position vectors in Cartesian notation. We're simply going to read our diagram. Where is A? Right? Where is this? What is this X, Y, and Z position? Where is B? What is this X, Y, and Z position? And from that, create the following Cartesian vectors. Where our A is at 0i plus 0j plus 30k feet. And our B, its position, is at 12i minus 8j plus 6k feet. So now we know, or we've written out, 
the positions of A and the positions of B. Now let's get the position vector R directed towards B. Let's get that position vector RAB, where the position vector RAB is going to be the terms of B minus the terms of A. It's the X, the Y, and the Z terms. You see, it's repeated, right? So we go ahead and take RB minus RA, and we find that RAB, the position vector, is equal to 12i minus 8j minus 24k feet. So that is position vector from A towards B. Great. And uh, that position vector can also be turned into a length if we want to find the distance between A and B by simply taking the square root of the squared terms. So we take this 12 and we square it, 8 and square, 24 and square it, find the square root of that, and the length vector is 28 feet. So at this step, now we're going to split off into two areas. We're going to find the unit direction vector, and then we're going to find uh, the force vector, and then we're going to find its directions. Right? Our unit direction vector, the direction from A to B, is equal to the position vector divided by its magnitude. We've got our position vector here. We've got our magnitude. Let's build that ratio. And now we have the unit direction, the direction from A to B. And note that this unit direction is unitless. That means it carries purely the direction and no magnitude. This is great because for our force vector, we know the magnitude of the force and we need its direction. And it has the same direction as the position vector. So to find our force vector, we simply take the magnitude of the force, 70 pounds, and we multiply by the unit direction from A to B, the unit direction we found. We put that together and we'll find that our force vector is equal to 30i minus 20j minus 60k pounds. We found our force vector in Cartesian notation. All right, so that's part A of this problem. Now let's do part B. We also need to find the direction angles for this problem, right? Well, the unit direction vector, the unit direction vector carries all of the direction, right? So let's use that to find the angles. Where our direction angles are equal to the ratio terms Rx over R, uh, Ry over R, and Rz over R, right? Where this is the Rx over R term, it's the Ry over R term, and the Rz over R term, right? The components over the lengths for that unit direction. So we plug those in, rearrange and solve, we find alpha is equal to 64.6 degrees, beta is equal to 107, and gamma is equal to 149 degrees. So note in this problem that the position vector and the force vectors had the same directions. That from A to B for the position was the same direction as for the force, right? Force was along that line. So we can uh, define the direction angles either as a position vector like we did Rx over R or as the force direction vector which would be Fx over the magnitude of F. They are both going to produce the same angle at the end. All right? so this is just a little advanced stuff here. So this is a pretty good example. Uh, we were given uh, the magnitude of the force, and we were given positional information for where this man is and the cable is his intention. Um, we worked through figuring out how to get from our knowns to our unknowns, and then we just plugged in the numbers, taking care to draw a free body diagram, to do the math, find our unit direction vector, and from there, get our Cartesian force vector and the angles. So. That's our example for today. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next example.